attention that uh, my colleague here in the vinyl community, uh, Mike, the vinyl policeman, uh, ha has come up with a thread to show five albums by five artists on one label. So um, as part of, as a professional in this in this community, me being the vinyl surgeon, uh, I am more than happy to show my support for the vinyl popo, the policeman. So, I'm in, man. So, oh, if you could just excuse me for one moment. Nurse, could you please uh, take this one down to the pediatrics unit? I'm sure the kids would love this down there. Oh, and on your way, drop this one by the, uh, the long-term care clinic. The elderly folks will love this one. There you go. Thank you so much, darling. I appreciate it. All right, so looks like we're, 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 we're in good shape here. So let's go ahead and start this. First of all, if you haven't checked out the Vinyl Policeman's channel, I will put it here in the description. And you can go there, check out his thread, check out all the uh, entries to his thread, and subscribe to his channel. All right, so um, my favorite label and i believe cosmic brian's favorite label as well is the buddha label um discovered the buddha label as a child um first of all just loved the look of it and also loved the music that was put out on the label so i'm gonna tell you a little bit about the label while i'm showing you a few records here's what we're listening to right now is the bubblegum music is the naked truth all those, you've got their big bubblegum uh, bands there. 1910 Fruit Gum Company, Ohio Express, Kazanet's Cats, Super Circus, Lemon Pipers, Shadows of Night. This is a great album here. And uh, there's also a book here to go with that, also by the same name. And if you want to know more about the uh, about the uh, Buddha label, uh, there's lots of information in this one about the Buddha label. So check that out. All right. So what a lot of people didn't know is that the Buddha label was founded in 1967 out of New York City. It was born out of the Kama Sutra label and also out of the MGM label. And of course, they're most famous for uh, their bubblegum pop genre that they, all the records that, and singles that they released under that genre. But they handled a variety of other genres as well. They had folk rock, experimental, soul, um, you name it, they were in it. They were, uh, they, they were a business and a, and a fledgling label. They were, they were test, trying and testing everything. Of course it's too bad because now the uh, Buddha label is defunct so uh, no more releases on the Buddha label but I'll show you what I do have here in the clinic uh, that's on the the label um, also in the Buddha label there are several sub labels um, that uh, they Buddha distributed many other um, independent labels records like for instance, this Curtis Mayfield, Sweet Exorcist. Look at that. What a great cover. The great Curtis Mayfield. And it was under... See, you've got the Buddha on the sleeve there. But the 
actual um, label looks like this, and that's the Curtum label. Very cool, the Curtum label. And that's one that... And then um, I just thought I'd show this one too. This is Dust. Great proto-metal, psychedelic, hard rock. Mark Bell from the Ramones, first band. But um, check out this label. That's the Kama Sutra label there, the pink Kama Sutra label. Great stuff. I'll also show you this. This is um, out of the old Kama Sutra label as well. And this is the Lovin' Spoonful. Do you believe in magic in a young girl's heart? Love it. Check that out. But this is the uh, yellow and red uh, Kama Sutra label there. Very cool. And you can see the similarities to the Buddha right there with the Kama Sutra uh, thing. And um, some more of the sub labels here. I'll get into the Buddha label stuff. But this is um, Gallery. They were a 70s one hit wonder. Um, and the song was, oh, it's so nice to be with you. I love all the things you say and do. Check them out. A little one hit wonder. And um, the indie label under the Buddha label was the Sussex label. Very cool. Check that out. I believe Cosmic Brian showed this recently. This is Vandergraaf Generator. Uh, some great progressive rock and roll, Pawn Hearts. And that one is on um, the Charisma label, again, under the Buddha label. Check that out. Very cool label. So, um, what happened was, is Neil Bogert was with the Cameo Parkway label, and um, this was one of the albums on the Cameo Parkway. He was the Neil Bogart was the head of that label, and um, it just so happened this group right here, the Ohio Express, was on the Cameo label, which you got to see this Cameo label. It's it's probably the only thing I think that's cooler than the uh, Buddha label. Look at that beauty. And so when Neil Bogart uh, moved over to start the... Um, the Buddha label, he took with him uh, the Ohio Express, but he also took with him a couple of producers, um, Jerry Kazanets and Jeffrey Katz, uh, Super K Productions, and they're the guys that are responsible for releasing all that great bubblegum music of the late 60s, right? And, um, but, the, but the actual first album that was released on the... Um, on the Buddha label was this one right here. And that's Captain Beefheart's uh, Safe as Milk album. What a great album to start a freaking uh, label on. Fantastic. And here's what the label looked like. It was the Buddha label, but it was red. Check it out. They hadn't moved up to the old psychedelic uh, label quite yet. And I don't know if you guys know this, but the first hit, the first number one hit on the Buddha label was by this group. And that's the Lemon Pipers. And the song was My Green Tambourine. Check that out. And by that time, we have our absolutely iconic and delicious Buddha uh, label. That is by far... There is no cooler looking label than the Buddha label. The iridescent with the, the Buddha statue there. Absolutely. And that's the same um, that's on the Kama Sutra label as well. Just, I mean, it's just so psychedelic and so absolutely colorful and cool. So now I'm going to show you just a, a couple of um, uh, cool... Uh, 
records under the Buddha label. Here's a 45 with the original Buddha sleeve. That's Vic Venus uh, Moonflight there. And then as, uh, you know, the 60s were winding down and they were moving into the 70s, um, the Buddha label started to take on more R&B, more soul, um, uh, more pop-oriented bands. They did just about everything. And here's one of those groups of the 70s, the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, kind of a soul group, uh, kind of like like the fifth dimension, but more members and kind of more pop oriented. I love the Brooklyn Bridge. And here's the great inner sleeve for that one. I love it. Look at all those great Buddha artists there. Great stuff, man. There's the Captain Beefheart right there. And then, um, I don't know if you knew this, but uh, the band Coven from, you know, the Satanic Ritual album. Um, I don't remember, recall if this was before that album or after, but this is Coven, um, Blood on the Snow. Check out that great cover art. But yeah, this was also on, on the Buddha label right there. There's the inner sleeve. And check this out, a little different look for the label. Changed it up a little bit. And now some of the old standards from the, the great bubblegum era. Here's the Ohio Express, Chewy Chewy. Love that album cover right there. Back cover. The beautiful Buddha label. And then you can't, if you're going to show bubble gum, you have to show a little of the 1910 Fruit Gum Company. Fantastic. Check that out. Indian Giver. Probably not the most politically correct album cover, but it was the late 60s. Do we give them a pass? Hell yeah, we do. And this is one of my favorites. This kind of came out before. Because this one is kind of part of the Buddha, but it also has the Kama Sutra and the MGM logo on it. Check that out. Isn't that great? And then this is, it's on the uh, yellow, Kama, or yellow and red Kama Sutra label. Isn't that crazy? I love it, but it's Lieutenant Garcia's... Um, Magic Music Box, and they were part of the Kazanets Cat Super Circus album as well, the second one. Love this. The Latin bubble gum. It's fantastic. And then you've got the Lemon Piper second album, Jungle Marmalade. Oh, man, this is just uh, one of the most, uh, most psychedelic of the bubble gum albums right here. I love that, too, how they put the Buddha... Uh, icon right on the cover there in the marmalade jar all right and here's just a comp here to dick clark's uh 20 years of rock and roll a lot of these artists on this um double album here were eventually on the the Buddha label, it's got Gallery, Al Green, Curtis Mayfield, Melanie, Edwin Hawkins, um, Otis Redding, Young Rascals, Love and Spoon. I mean, this is just such a great comp right here. Look at all those slamming tunes. Great pop song. All right, so uh, standing in Cosmic Brian's stead, the vinyl surgeon, uh, I need to get back to my patients and my nurses are calling my name because we got a little back room session, so. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right, got to get to it, you guys. Um, so yeah, stick around, come back. Check out Mr. Cosmic Brian when he returns. Ah! Subscribe, hit the notification bell. Check out the vinyl policeman in the, in the description below. Love you guys, man. Peace out.